Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Miss Mar, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to paint a castle in a village today. And we're also gonna count how many times I say the words, it doesn't have to be perfect in this video because it's a lot. So the first thing you're gonna need is your paint, your water, a paintbrush, your paper towel. We all should already have our land painted. Remember our land has to be dry before we start making our landmarks. So the first thing I'm going to do is with my water and my brush, I'm going to take this, I'm gonna get some water on my brush and we're gonna do our glazing technique where we do our water drop on our table. I'm gonna set this out of the way. So I'm gonna do my water drop on my table and we're going to be using, you can use any color you want for your castle, but we're gonna be using, I'll show you to use black because we can use it to make gray for our castle. But again, you can do it however you want. So once I have my water drop on my table, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to gently, like barely, barely touch the black paint right here. So I'm gonna go doo, just like that, dot that in. And the more I dot that in, it'll like start to absorb that more. I'm gonna do it the tiniest, tiniest bit more. Last time when I tried to film this, I did not do a very good job. Okay, scary, let's see. Ooh. So you cannot really see, no, you can. You can see the table through it. As I started to spread it out, you can see it. So we have our color. Going in with our paper, we're going to pretend this area that I'm in is my land. You're going to go in and we're going to start making the shape of our castle. And you can, we're going to start by making the main one first. And so you can do this by doing a trapezoid. I'm going to do two castles and show you. I can do a trapezoid or I can do a rectangle. And when I'm doing this, I'm kind of using the side of the brush. We don't have to be too perfect or particular, we're just kind of sketching out a loose shape first, right? And then I'm gonna fill that in with my brush. Once I have this, I can start adding my columns. And so as I start adding my columns, this is where I'm gonna to want to make sure I go in and use just the end of my brush. So when I'm painting, I've been kind of using the side, like if this is my paper like this, I'm using the side. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna angle my brush upward and just use the very end of my brush. So I'm gonna go in like this, angle my brush upward again, just using the end, and I'm going to carefully start making my column shapes, and they do not have to be perfect. So I'm just making these little rectangle shapes like this, and I can do, I had one student make these little triangle shapes and then you're gonna fill those in. And I'm only using what is left on my brush. If your brush isn't really working or anything, or you're not be able to get, like see your water, you can get a tiniest bit more water by going doot like that, just a little bit, taking your paper towel and dabbing it on the paper towel to get rid of some of the extra water and using whatever's left on the brush for that. going to go in and we can start making our columns, right? And so I can go in and I can do two columns. They can even be different sizes or thickness. Does not have to be perfect at all. And once I do that, I can even have one be taller if I want to. So this is obviously going off the page, but that's okay. Same thing for right here, one right here, one right here. And so once we have the basic shape of it, I'm gonna go in and get a tiny bit more color and make this column a little bit darker. I'm gonna go in and also outline my triangle a little bit better. And I'm just using the end of my brush again for this part. So once I have this, I can also even make, using the end of my brush, these little triangles at the top. 
again, not having to be perfect at all. Like right here, not exactly perfect. And so I wanna make sure I kinda straighten it out. I'm also working in a really small paper. Your paper is a lot larger, so it can be a little bit bigger, okay? And so once we have the basic shape done, we're good because once I have this part, I can go in with my pen at the very end and I can outline it, which is what I did in my um, original. So I just mapped out the shape and then once it dried, I went in with pen at the very end. So but that's how we basically make a castle and it needs to dry before we can go in with pen or anything else. We're gonna make a village down here. Using our glazing technique and using our water drop, I'm gonna do a water drop on my table over here. And then I'm gonna go in, dot of brown, just like that. And then I'm gonna kind of smush it around, making sure it's translucent. For this step, when I'm making my village shape, let's pretend this is our land. And this is our land up here. All right, so when I'm making my village shape, I'm going to go in, let me give it a tiny bit more color so you can see it a little better. So when I'm making my village shape, I'm gonna go in and I'm basically, again, using the end of my brush, very end, I'm going to make these little triangle shapes for the house right? Or for like the little houses. And again, these don't have to be perfect or anything because we're just mapping it out and kind of sketching it with paint and then we can clean it up and detail it later. So as long as it has the rough shape of what we want, that's good. Hey guys, quick disclaimer, you can also do this um, with the color green and make the same shapes with the triangles and that'll be the shapes and color that we use for your trees too. So didn't feel like making a separate video for that when it's basically the same thing, just a different color. There you go. And then you're gonna go in and fill those in like that. Let me get a little bit more paint because mine's not dark enough. There we go, that's what I wanted. So I'm gonna make one more. There we go, that's a little bit better. And I can also go in and I can make like a little bit of a rectangle shape. And I can even make a side view of the house too. Again, really roughly making it. Doesn't have to be perfect. And again, once we're dry, we'll be able to go in and like add our detail to our houses like I have over here. So like I just went in with my brush and even went in with a tiny brush to like make the triangles a little bit better. Okay, 